everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today we're talking about shared work problems. These come in different forms. You'll recognize them if you see them. It's those that are of the type. If person A is working at painting and person B is also working at painting and if person A can complete the job in five hours, person B can do it in 10 hours, how long does it take if they work together? So they're sharing the work. They look really kind of complicated and hard, but I'll show you, it's really not, you should be able to just fly through these after you get sort of the basic concepts down. I'm going to do one with two people, one with three people, show you how those are similar. And then also do one where it's the opposite, where they tell you the total hours and then say, how fast could they do it alone? Okay, so first one, let's say Adam can paint a fence in four hours. And then, I don't know, Christy, if she's painting the fence, it would take her six hours. And she's just a slower painter. If they're working together, how fast will they paint the fence? The key to this is figuring out how much of the fence, what portion of the fence each person is painting every hour. So let's just think about it. Okay, so if Adam, he's painting this little picket fence that I'm drawing very, <laughs> looks like a, a serrated edge or something, <laughs> we're calling it a picket fence. If it takes him four hours to paint this whole thing, how much is he painting every hour? Well, I could divide it like this and say, in the first hour, he paints a quarter of it. The second hour, he gets to a half. The third hour, he gets to three fourths. And then the last hour, the fourth hour, he's all done. So he's painting one fourth every hour. See that same principle, it's, it takes him four hours to do the whole part, the one, the whole fence. Then we divide that by four. That's what that actually means. One divided by four. He paints one whole fence. We've divided it in four parts. So one fourth. Same here. Christy takes six hours. So she paints that whole fence. How much does she paint every hour? We divide by six. She paints one sixth every hour. Okay. So if we have these two numbers and rewrite them. So Adam is painting a fourth of the fence an hour. Christy is painting a sixth of the fence an hour. How much are they painting every hour? Well, to add those, we need to have the same denominator. So in this case, 12 would be our least common denominator. That's the term for that. So to convert this to twelfths, four times three is 12, one times three is three. Okay, if you need help with that, then, you know, direct you to a video. I'm pretty sure I have one already. If not, I will soon, and I'll put a link below about how to add fractions and find the least common denominator. Okay, same for one sixth. Six times two is 12, two times two is 12. Then we add those because now they have the same denominator, five twelfths. Okay, so they're painting five twelfths of the fence every hour. So how long, whoa, how long does it take to paint the whole fence? Well, they're painting one whole fence and they're doing five twelfths every hour. So how many five twelfths are in one? One divided by five twelfths. Well, to divide by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal 12 fifths. It takes them 12 fifths hours. Now that's a mixed or, Im, or I'm sorry, an improper, excuse me, an improper fraction. So let's change that. So that would be two and two fifths. Well, two fifths, what is that in minutes? There are 60 minutes in an hour. Two fifths of 60 is 24. So they will do it. They will do it in two hours 
and 24 minutes. And little side note that two fifths of 60, you can solve that several ways. You can just say 60 times two fifths. You could say, oh, two fifths is the same as 0 0.4. Do that either of those two ways. Or you can say, I want to convert two fifths into sixtieths. Five times 12 is 60. Two times 12 is 24. And I wrote 12. <laughs> so I was saying it. 24. So you get 24 here and 24 here. So a lot of times in math, you'll find this. You'll have different ways. So just pick the one that, that you like best. What makes the most sense to you? All right. So two hours and 24 minutes. Now let's try one where you have three people. It's not any harder. It's the same exact process. So let's say that Dahlia can complete a task in two hours. Okay. And let's see, Aaron can complete the task in three hours. And then we'll say Mikhail can complete the task in six hours. How long will it take if they work together? You do the exact same thing. It's how long or how much is each one doing every hour? If it takes Dahlia two hours, she's doing half of it an hour. If it takes Aaron three hours, He's doing a third of it an hour. If Mikhail is taking six hours, he's doing a sixth of it an hour. So if they're all working for one hour, how much do they complete per hour? So we want to convert all these, get our least common denominator, and they all go into six. So one sixth stays alone. <laughs> One half, converting that to sixths. That's so hard to say. Two times three is six. One times three is three. Third to sixths is three times two is six. One times two is two. Okay. Um, so I add those all together. Three plus two plus one is six. Six sixths <laughs> is just one. They'll be finished in exactly one hour. So same exact process. Now what if it's the other way? What if they told us to complete this task working together, it takes them three hours. Okay. So working together three hours and then Paul working alone takes eight hours. And then we'll say, I'll just take coming up with names on the fly. Denise working alone takes how many hours? If when she works with Paul, it takes three. So here's how we're working backwards. How much, so they're working for three hours. How much does Paul complete in one hour? Well, he takes eight hours to do the whole thing. So he completes one eighth of the task every hour hour. Well, he worked for three hours. So how much did he complete? He completed three eighths of the task, leaving what for Denise to complete? The whole task minus three eighths of the task leaves five eighths of the task. Um, to show you that just real quickly, one would convert to eight eighths. And then that's how you know that's five eighths. So Denise completes five eighths of the task in three hours. Now look at this little pattern that we had up here. We said Paul's rate of work times three hours equals the total work completed. Actually, let me move that a little bit over. So there we go. So let's do that same thing with Denise. Her rate of work, that's our unknown, times three hours equals her amount of work completed, five eighths. OK, 
Okay? Same pattern. Rate of work times the number of hours equals work completed. Same over here. Rate of work times number of hours equals work completed. So let's now solve for x. So I want to, since this is 3 times x, I'm going to divide by 3. Divide by 3. Now I'm going to write it like this on this side. So x equals 5 eighths divided by 3. When we divide a fraction by 3, we multiply by the reciprocal. So this is the same as 5 eighths times 3 um, <laughs> reciprocal. 1 over 3. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't do much good if you just change it to divide from divide to times and go, hey, I've done it. No, reciprocal. So I multiply on top. 5 times 1 is 1. 8 times 3 on the bottom is 24. So now I know that Denise does 5 24ths of the task every hour. Okay, so if she does 5 24ths every hour, how much does it take her to do it? I mean, how long does it take her to do it on her own? I am just having problems speaking today. Words are hard. So she's doing a whole task 5 24ths every hour. So we would say one whole task divided by 5 over 24. To remember again, when we, um, to divide, we multiply by the reciprocal. So 1 times 24 over 5. 24 over 5. And let's convert that into a mixed numeral instead of an improper fraction. And that is... 4, 5 goes into 24 four times, and we have 4 left over. 4 and 4 fifths, or 4.8. Either way you want to look at it. 4.8 hours. So how long is that exactly? Well, 0.8, you can put this in your calculator, 60 times 0.8, because this is part of an hour or part of 60 minutes. Also, you can say 60 times 4 fifths. Both of those work. And 4 fifths of 60 is 48. So, grand answer, Denise can do it in 4 hours and 48 minutes. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.